It's busy being in the bee business. Just ask Brad Ingram. It's been a very busy season. A lot of um, beekeepers, the commercial beekeepers, have started retiring in the Okanagan. So the, the press is on as far as the growers go. They've, there's been a lot of calls this year. Among those retiring are Kay and Bob Chisholm of Brainy Bee on Valley Road. They're moving back to Saskatchewan after 22 years, but don't have anyone to take over the business. No, we have a daughter here and she's been helping, but she's not interested in carrying on at the rate we were doing it. That could be cause for concern. Many orchards depend on commercial beekeepers. It's absolutely go time for the beekeepers and uh, uh, also the farm, there's a very short window when the blooms are open and we need all the help we can to make sure that we get a crop and bees are a critical part of that. Uh, without the bees, uh, without hives placed in the orchard, there's usually a little bit of a crop. Bees aren't the only things that do the pollinization, but they do the, the, load of, the biggest load of it. And uh, without the bees, uh, we'll have a reduced crop for sure. Gatsky's lucky enough to have a neighbor with hives. Others aren't as fortunate. If they don't manage to hire someone like Ingram, there are few other options. Most of them want to just keep it small as a hobby, and I fully respect that. And there's a few of them that are willing to bring in bees and do some of the smaller pollination contracts. I focus our business mostly on the commercial growers. Until more people decide to get into the bee business, Ingram expects his phone to keep ringing off the hook. In West Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.